maybe this object was targeting the inner solar system. It, it had a goal to visit the inner solar system, in which case it, it's um, uh, that the rocky reservoir is irrelevant. And uh, if you look at the trajectory of this object, indeed it's perfectly aligned with the plane of the planets around the sun. And it's, it's uh, within five degrees. And the chance of that happening at random is uh, one in 500. And that allows this object to come very close uh, to the inner planets. For example, it will come close to Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. And if you take the path of this object and just change randomly the arrival time, you find that there is a chance in one in uh, 20,000 uh, of it coming so close to three planets as if this trajectory was fine-tuned, it was designed so that it will come close to a lot of planets along the path, and it actually moves opposite to the direction of motion of the planets around the sun. It's on a retrograde orbit, and that would be ideal if, if this object uh, wanted to maneuver or release uh, mini probes that will visit the planets. Uh, now, it will actually get closest to the sun on October 29th, 2025, and that's when the Earth would be on the opposite side. It's as if uh, it, it tries to avoid us. We won't be able to observe it. Um, but um, uh, it also comes from a direction in the sky that is crowded with lots of stars. It was difficult to see it until July 1st, 2025. And so the fundamental question is, uh, was this uh, designed by intelligence out there? And, uh, my argument is that we should collect as much data as possible to figure it out. And I um, uh, defined a new scale that is now called the Loeb scale uh, after my last name, uh, where zero implies a, a purely uh, natural object like a comet or an asteroid, and 10 is a definitely technological object that maneuvers, uh, broadcasts a signal, or transmits some uh, artificial lights. And I rank this object, 3i Atlas, as a four on the scale between zero and 10.